You know, there is a particular fish. I've told you about the story before, but I'd like to tell you again. They found out that this fish was so old, older than every other fish's mother, every other fish's aunt. So all the fishes, all, all of them gathered together and they said, let's go and ask this girl, this woman. Let's ask her a secret. And they went to her on a Saturday morning. And they said, what is your secret? All our moms are gone. All our aunts are gone. How is it that you... You have, you've, you've seen generations upon generations. You saw our grandmother, you saw our mom, you, you, you saw our great grandmom. How did you survive till you became this age? And she said to them, very simple trick. If you ever saw food come from up, don't eat it. If food is coming from up, she said, I've observed that everybody that got hooked, they saw food come from up. They said, eh? She said, because every eat as fishes is inside this world. Anything you see coming from up is a lie. It's synthetic. Are you following what I'm trying to say to you? Everything you need is in your life right now. I said everything you need is in your life right now. Did you know that all that you will be, you are already. You're just being revealed bit by bit. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Look at your neighbor, tell them what is in your hand. What is in your hand? You need to take an inventory right now. You need to you need to take an inventory because if you don't take a, if you don't take an inventory, there is no way you could tell what you really have. A widow cried to the prophet and said, "Hey, you know my husband is a good prophet, a good man. And before he died, he was hoeing. They are about to take my two sons. I'm widowed. The only hope I have are these two sons. They are about to take them to sell them. How do I redeem them? Please help me, prophet. The first question the prophet asked was, "What?" is in your house the woman said i don't just like you're sitting right now saying i don't have anything pastor you don't see even you that that is preaching this desert thing you're preaching you don't even know that some people can be so dry so dry that nothing can happen for them anymore that is my story but child of god that's not your story as a child of god that's not your story in genesis 13 and verse 14 the bible says after abraham separated from lords god showed up and told him lift up your eyes when now now and look <laughs> it didn't say bend down your face he said lift up your eyes now and look guess what from the place where you are some are waiting to graduate to look some are waiting to get married to start looking some are waiting for this uh, uh, government to go and then we will start planning some are waiting that oh let politics come in 2023 then we start planning god says no that is the trick of the enemy but the enemy has the enemy has a trick the trick is the, the 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 spell of silence the spell of dismay he wants you he wants to do he has done what he has done to you so that you can be paralyzed you can't talk anymore you are not bold anymore you put down your head and say shut up see the reason why your situation is getting worse is that you are still talking keep quiet it's a spell of silence listen to me who will be at the valley of Elah for 40 days that Goliath has been threatening? That will not be. Do you know why David was able to pull down Goliath? He was not there for four. And somebody here, God has been hiding you. You think you don't have a job, but it's, it's hiding that God has been hiding you. You think you don't have a name yet, but God has been hiding you. You think you're not prominent yet, but God has been hiding you. Because if you saw earlier than now what others have seen, you will not be able to create what God has placed on your inside. Are you following what I'm trying to say to you? Am, am I navigating prophetically properly? But I'm here to let you know in the name of Jesus, every strange voice that has been harassing you is over tonight in the name of Jesus. That voice that comes to speak to you when you're pregnant and tells you you will never have a child and then you lose that child. In the name of Jesus, I command that voice to die in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> I command that voice to die in the name of Jesus. Any strange voice telling you, you can't become who God says you are. In the name of Jesus, let them be buried now. Let them be buried now. In the name of Jesus. The woman said, we have nothing in our house. Ah, the man of God said, think. Why? For God will never leave himself without a witness. It's not possible. Job lost all his children. He lost all his businesses. He did not. Because that wife can reproduce other children. Look very well. What you have left is enough to bounce back. For God will not leave himself without a witness he will never look at your neighbors what's here the prophet warned that woman when the woman finally said well i have little oil <laughs> he said go and get empty vessels because god is in the business of taking what you have and multiplying it god will just use something you've always had 
blind Bartimaeus you want to see but you can walk the master called it for thee he made him to use his legs to receive his sight he will make you to use something in your life that you have you don't have any money but you have contacts you don't have any money you don't have any contacts but you have wisdom Joseph they took his coat of many colors they stripped him naked took him to Egypt in chains he got to the house of Potiphar they lied against him banished him in the prison but listen to me he still got something called the anointing God was with him and it was that anointing that made room for him so it is that what is in your life right now we open doors for you let me tell you the trick of the enemy he wants you to abandon his early prayer uh, you don't have anything but you can pray let me tell you this there is something you have that somebody is looking for do you know some rich people just need a friend who can just do you know some rich wives i mean wives of rich people just need a genuine friend they can talk to who can just listen and your bills are paid you know successful people can be bored but they don't have someone they can trust you have something you're just abandoning that thing you're just ignoring it you don't have anything but you can pray for hours you can pray really and you're faithful you're not you're not faking it somebody is looking for somebody while he goes for business who will pray for him and he comes and says this is yours <laughs> man of god you're listening to me right now you don't need anybody what did i tell you you don't need anybody but god everybody who comes looks at the altar but you know something about the altar there is no altar without fire and there's no fire without a man of god so everything starts with you once there's fire that's the end no matter how gentle you talk once people come in they leave something happens to them that week they will come and when they come back no matter what happens if they, if they refuse to be used god will use someone else i prophesy to you you will never be stuck in the name of jesus you will never be stuck in the name of jesus there be anyone in your life saying if this is not me your church will not survive let them be disgraced because i've been a man of god for a while god can feed you with a raven god can send a widow to you but it's a sustainer of the saints heaven will sustain you your vision will be loud if you believe it shout him in somebody glory be to god glory be to god god will never leave himself without glory be to god what's that thing that you have what's that gift what's that talent what is that hurt what is that bad experience <laughs> that's what's in your hand that's what's in your hand you write a book about it the whole world starts to shake there is no way i will open my mouth to encourage somebody and the person will be fired their bone because i'm not talking to you what i'm encouraging you i've gone through jesus christ on the way to Imam. they said to they said to them we should have known that it was just christ was our heart not honest when it's somebody who just came from who just was raised from the dead Men of God, let me tell you something. When Jesus spoke to them on the way to Emmaus, he didn't have money for hotel. He didn't have money for food. He was from another world. He spoke to them. They were the ones that begged him, sir, come and sleep with us. They were the ones that provided bread. You will not lack. <laughs> Going to sit in the, in the minister's office is not what provides for a pastor. Fire from where you are. Everything you need will come. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. With honor, with dignity. That's your portion. In the name of Jesus. Same with you, child of God, listening to me. Once there's fire on your altar, there will be sacrifice. God will not send fire. God will not, God will not make provision for you if you have not set the altar properly for fire. I believe in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Everything will change for you in the name of Jesus. Acts 14, 17. I quoted it earlier, but I want you to read it. Acts 14, 17. Acts 14, 17. Nevertheless, he did not leave himself without a witness. In that he did, there's no way. What did he do in the middle of what was going on? He gave us rain from heaven. A fruitful season. Filling our hearts with food. and gla Listen guys. Is it hearts that they eat? He will, there will be something God will do. In the middle of your trial, you will know that God is with you. That is what is in your hand. Though. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, what the Lord has placed there, the enemy will not collect it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Whatever God has placed in your hand is around you now. As I speak with you. I don't care what you've lost. It's still there. It's still there. You don't have money, but you have an idea. Whatever it is, God will never leave you. The reason why he didn't take your breath off your nostril is that he has given you something that will take you out of that place. Jonah was in the belly of the fish. Abandoned there. You know what he had? Prayer. No record in the Bible that anybody ever prayed in the fish. People went to a mountain called Zion to pray. But in that place, in the belly of the fish, in the sea. How dark was that place? He prayed and got hurt. 
and God commanded the fish. In the name of Jesus, everything that has encompassed you, has caged you, every legal blockade, let them hear the word of the Lord right now. Be taken to where you belong. Exodus 15, 22. Exodus 15, 22. Have I lost you? When they crossed the Red Sea to the other side, suddenly it dawned on them. Oh, we couldn't have drank a salty water. We need water to drink. In verse 22 of Exodus 15, so Moses brought Israel from the Red Sea and they went out into the wilderness of Shaw and they went three days in the desert and found no water. Verse 23, now when they, are, they came to Marah, Marah means bitterness. They could not drink the waters of Marah for they were bitter. You see, even in the, in the water found in the desert, bitter. But guess what? All my life, I've been thinking there was a tree beside the water that God just told Moses, Moses, uh, cut the branch of that tree, put the leaf inside, and then the water turned around. Let's read it, let's read it, let's read it. The Bible says, uh, therefore, it was na- the, the name of, its, of, of it was called Marah. Verse 24. And then the people complained against Moses, saying, what shall, we, what shall we drink? Verse 25. So he cried out to the Lord, and the Lord showed him a tree. What did the Lord do? What did the Lord do? Did the Lord plant the tree? Did the Lord uh, uh, command the tree to fall from heaven? The tree was always there. But I want to show you it was not a tree. It was a stick. It was not a tree. It was a stick. The best word to a best word to, be, to have been used to render that thing would have been a branch of a tree that they cut. The branch of a tree fell, lifeless, dried up. It was just a stick. Let's read maybe a message translation because I don't want, if I'm telling you, bro, you will not believe me. Look at verse, verse 25. The Bible says, and Moses cried out in prayer to God and God pointed him to a stick of wood. It was, it was a, it, it cut down, it was just, it was there. You see, somebody here, something has been cut from you, just there, lifeless, looks like nothing, hanging there. <laughs> but the reason why everything left, but that thing was just still hanging, is that that's a stick in your hand. <laughs> Tap your neighbor and say, you've got something in your hand. The water was bitter. Everybody walked by it thinking, oh, this is the end of this thing. But that stick was just hanging there, looking insignificant, looking like rubbish. Let's read the New Living Translation of, 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 that, of, that, of that verse. Hallelujah. So Moses cried out to the Lord for help. You must learn how to receive help from God. And the Bible said the Lord showed him a piece of wood. It was not a tree. It was lifeless, just hanging there. What is that thing that is just hanging in your life? Pastor, we are, I, I just, I just know how to cook. I don't, I'm not that gifted. I just, the only thing, I'm just like a housewife, really. I said, really, one of the most popular cookbooks in America came out from a mother who had a child that went to college. Every night after she studied, she would talk to her mom. Mom, I don't know, what, I don't have things. I can't go to, sh- I can't go shopping right now. The mom would say, oh, what do you have? I have salt. Uh huh. What do you have? And then she would, she would combine it for her. And then the book was all about combining whatever you have at home to become food. Because she just wrote, out of the recipe she passed to her child that looked like a piece of wood. How many of you have bought water gone for your kids before? Somebody wanted to have a shower. And the hand shower fell down and the water went pew to the wall. It just thought, wow, this is fun. That was how he decided to invent water gone. I watched my child playing with his friend on Sunday with water gone. And I said, wow, this guy it came by a mistake most inventions came by something that was just hanging that looked normal that's why every opportunity you have when they tell you serve in church do this help us do this just do it because it's in the place of service that what will change your life will come out ask any great person they will tell you most of the things i did that helped me i just tumbled that's how you know it's god a stick was just am i talking it was just hanging there like nothing may your eyes be open you will drive within the city or the city where you're listening to me after this message your eyes will be open to businesses you will know what to do you will wake up and an idea will pop up in your head the lord will open your eyes let me tell you something god has opened my eyes many times in ministry the last couple of months everybody was shouting new normal new normal i need the lord open my eyes prepare because there was an open chance now, but do this, do this. Listen to me. What makes you stand out is that God will give you that first advantage. After this service, you will know what to do. 
please don't joke with me tonight i am functioning from zion i am not just praying for you i am injecting you with abilities you will see yourself you move out of this place or after this message you will see that there are new possibilities for you therefore in the name of jesus enter into new grounds if you believe it shout hallelujah if you believe it shout hallelujah he just opened his eyes and they put the stick there look at what happened there let's read it quickly the bible says when he put the put it into water the waters were made sweet therefore he made a statute and an ordinance for them and they tested guys the solution beside that water everybody they, that water tasted like chloroquine but the solution to it was beside it. put the stick hanging like nothing can i pray for some? may the lord open your eyes those who are listening to me today you begin to invent ideas were out to you. 